Hello and welcome. I'm Monica from Ocean Networks Canada, here to explore ocean literacy principle number two, the ocean and life in the ocean shape the features of the earth. Did you know the ocean touches you every day, even if you can't see it or feel it directly? This is a complicated way of saying simply, no ocean, no you. I'm joining you today from the University of Victoria. I acknowledge with respect the Lekwungen peoples on whose traditional territory the university stands and the Songhees, Esquimalt and Wasainich peoples whose historical relationship with the land continue to this day. This activity is called Erode the Sugar Cube. I bet you can guess exactly what we're going to do. This is an activity you can do at home, so make sure to get ready to erode your own sugar cubes at home. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do this experiment because it's just that, an experiment. Here's the materials we suggest you grab before we get started. A jar, four sugar or bouillon cubes, some crackers, sandpaper, paper straws, an eyedropper, water, a plate. Erosion is the process in which rocks and minerals break down, either chemically or physically, and are transported to different areas in the world where they can become new rocks and minerals. The ocean is a fantastic part of the erosion machine. It drives wind cycles, water cycles, and even physical erosion, which creates the rocks we see tumbling at the beach. Now, we could do any number of things with these sugar cubes, but what I want you to try and do is break them down into fine sugar, uncube them, as it were. Some of you might be thinking, this is too easy. I can just smash them. And you're not wrong. That is one of the ways that erosion happens. Physical force, like when a rock slide happens, or when ice freezes and cracks and pries rocks apart. But can you observe changes using the tools in other ways? Take your first sugar cube. What happens if you shake it in a jar? Grab a second cube. What happens if you rub them with sandpaper? With your third cube, you can blow on it with a straw or use the eyedropper to drop water on it. With your fourth and final cube, get creative. What happens if you do one thing first and another thing second? For example, what happens if you rub it with sandpaper and then blow on it with a straw? Or how about you roll them around in a jar and then add a drop of water? Try your own combination of different types of erosion. You've probably already noticed Eroding a sugar cube is a lot easier than trying to erode a real rock, but there are some similarities you might observe. Beach sand is a combination of rocks and shells that have been broken down and crushed by wave actions. Sand and even rocks can be moved by waves. A beach can look one way during the summer and change completely over the winter. Ocean wind carries salt particles vast distances. Maybe we're out to sea where they sink or inland where they can join soils. Either way, the ocean is always keeping our erosion cycle moving. Be sure to check out the next video to learn about Ocean Literacy Principle 3. The ocean is a major influence on weather and climate.